I like painting the face uh, with an acrylic paint. I like the neon, the neon red. It is a good visual. Helps you to see the bug out in the water. I usually uh, shake it up after I shake it up, and there's enough paint here in the cap that I can uh, dip the brush in the cap and get a good three or four bugs. Just go along and uh, cover your thread wraps. And uh, any exposed foam. Paint the face. See our foam insert there stopping the paint. But uh, any little ends of uh, mylar you have sticking up on the front end of that thread, the uh, epoxy, the final coat later on will um, it'll cover those up. Okay, you can still see the foam through there. So you want to go ahead and and give it a second coat. Sometimes you just dab it. Sometimes the brush will uh, kind of smear it and, and, and thin it out. And if you have an area that's still showing through, just kind of dab the paint on there. And fill your face. Give that another coat. And that bug will be set aside to dry. And then we'll put some eyes on it. Uh, the pop-up, we're going to go ahead and color this one. Uh, if you decide to color it, just use your Sharpies or a marks a lot, some permanent type marker. You still get a, a shine through it. It looks kind of opaque, but it's the uh, shiny mylar still kind of comes through a little bit. You won't see the gold. Well, you'll see the gold in maybe some spots if you miss a couple of little spots, but for the most part, you just have a, a shiny black. Okay, now I'm gonna put the eyes on. I'm gonna use some stick-on eyes, and then I'll show you how to do painted eyes. For the stick on eyes, I use the, uh, I like, I like red, these quarter inch round, uh, stick on eyes. Take an eye off like that, and just kind of give it a little curl between your fingers to give it a little shape to stick on that rounded body and just position the eye where you, where you like and stick it on. Try and put the other eye opposite. Looking at the other eye on the bottom, they're not exactly perfectly lined up, but oh well. <clears throat> Get your super thin CA glue and um, put something down on your table in case you get some drips off of this. It's so thin and you have an excess amount that may not go down into the weave and this kind of goes over the eye and helps glue the eye down and it gets into the weave and ensures the weave uh, the mylar gets stuck to the body dab off your excess and go ahead and set it aside to dry 
<clears throat> now we're going to paint the uh, we're going to paint some eyes on a Mylar popper. These are the paints I use, uh, acrylic paints. I like black, yellow, and orange. And as the uh, tools I use to dab the paint on for the eyes, I use nails stuck into uh, some balsa balsa blanks, and uh, I file the heads down to different sizes. Uh, the ones with the uh, wood facing up have uh, smaller nails facing down. I'll show you those in a minute. So here's a I use nails for um, dabbing the paint on the eyes. I start off with a common nail, full size, and I uh, file the uh, little ridges down so it's kind of smooth. And then I'll file the, uh, I'll chuck this in my Dremel and spin it on the uh, steel file to um, reduce the size of this head to get consecutively smaller dots and here's a finishing nail same thing full size head smaller one file down smaller that might be a brad different sizes. <clears throat> I like starting with a black base dot for the eye and just like with the painting I work out of the cap shake it up good and then uh, put your cap of paint down get your tool and just dab the uh, Dab the surface of your tool into the paint in the cap here, like so, till you get some paint on on there like that, and then apply it where you want, like that, by just setting it down and kind of rotating and push it down a little bit. And I like looking at it from the bottom to try and equalize where my dots are. And I'll apply this one about right there. Like that. And you set that aside to dry. Wipe off your your tool with the paper towel, get the paint off. So like your next smaller dowel. Another way of doing the dowels too is I used to do this is you uh, take a, a wooden dowel, hardwood dowel, and you sharpen it in a pencil sharpener so you have a cone shape and then you just cut that cone you do however many, six or whatever, and you sharpen them, or you leave one the same original diameter. And, uh, and after you make that cone, you cut the cone off at a different location on each dial, so you have consecutively sized uh, uh, circles. Next, I like putting on a yellow. And I just I go towards the front push it down like that some people like it towards the rear that's fine well, however you want to put your dots like that now this yellow is going to show the black is going to show through on the yellow so after that dries after that first coat dries, you see you can still see a little black through there towards the rear. I'll give it a 
a second shot of yellow. Next, I'll put the orange on. After that dries, I finish it with a black pupil. With the next size smaller doll. Okay. 